last date before we have a baby, and then we have a third wheel. And, and it's also our 10th anniversary. Which, Good old. technically... Yesterday was our 10th anniversary. Well, I think of it this way. Yesterday was that date here in New Zealand, which is kind of a day ahead. So this is still sort of more like our anniversary. It is, because yeah. it's technically still our anniversary in the U.S. Back in the we U.S. Got and that's why we got married. So this is sort of closer to our 10th anniversary anyways. True. But uh, we are going for a nice meal and then a bit of wandering around a weird art museum and then go take pictures with redwoods and uh, get cheap takeout on the way back apparently. <laughs> you, you have a craving for Carl's Jr. cheap, oh, cheap well, takeout burgers on the way back or something? Well, I kind of want like the mushroom and Swiss burger uh -huh. or and like some really good curly fries. I don't know if they have it here but really spicy food like the Sichuan restaurant or something like that I don't know yet we'll see yeah it's like I don't think I have cravings it's just it <laughs> sounds good when you're somewhere with decent restaurants got a ticket made to join yeah so I think our general plan is to go to um Kapuya for lunch they don't have the buffet lunch but that's perfectly fine all right so we are approaching Tapuya. you can see the little geysers there blowing away bubbling away we're just hoping to get lunch here at their little Is this my turn? yep at their little uh, restaurant or cafe and yeah let's go from there We do need to ask them about the um, Fano Legacy card. So we got here to the Hataka Kai, the restaurant, and we're getting lunch. brisket on ciabatta with several other things. I that looks like a corn. Yeah. And that looks like um, mashed potatoes. So like mashed potatoes and stuff. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got... Yep. I don't know what that is. What is that? Is that like tempura batter or something? Tempura or something. And then noodles and like a smoked salmon salad with poached egg and mm -hmm. apple crumble and ice cream. A little bit of ice cream right in the middle. <laughs> Might need to do that earlier rather than later. Oh, it's it, looks really good. Good. it does look pretty good. We just had lunch at Tapuya and Brian got the brisket and I got the bento and it was really satisfying. I ate some of his too because he couldn't finish his food for the Mine first time. Mine was bigger than yours by quite a bit. <laughs> It was the same price. It was the same price, but mine was definitely the bigger one. Maybe mine had the ice cream, that's why. Yours had like ice cream and the uh, apple crumble, and mine had a giant bowl of potatoes. Yeah, and, and two like, little pieces of corn, corn on the cop. And a bunch of brisket on top of a giant piece of bread. Like mine was, mine was all big starchy foods. It was very good. But, uh, anyway. It was really good. The view was really good. We saw like the geysers shooting up and stuff and I I actually thought that it's value for money over there. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So we are on our way to the 3D Trick Art Museum. Hopefully they're open. Our trick Art Gallery and the farm tour, but we're I don't think we're gonna do the farm tour. Hopefully we have some fun. In 200 meters, turn right. So we are here at the Trick Art Museum Gallery. 
and we have some interesting pictures here that we're gonna take lots of pictures and see which one ends up making the cut. <laughs> pictures already and yeah. what's your thoughts? Some of them have been pretty done. <laughs> that was fun. Some of them weren't quite as cool as others but there's a few that were really funny. Which one was your favorite? Ah, it's gotta be the rugby one or the haka one. I think the haka one was kind of funny. <laughs> I, I tried so hard on the like, face the expression, like, sticking my tongue out and making my eyes look wide, and I kind of hurt my face. <laughs> it's like my jaw was sore from trying to do So we just finished at the Trick Art Museum and we are headed to the Redwoods. We've been here several times before, but it's been a long time, so we're back again. So we are going to walk the Redwood Memorial Grove. A memorial Grove, something like that. Yeah. It's just a little 2k, 30 minute walk, but we'll just kind of take our time. We're still walking on, along this trail here on a little bridge. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> It feels really nice here. Here we are. He's just about to make fun of me. You told me to. No. We, we chose a half hour trail here out in the Redwoods. It's the one that's specifically like, you know, wheelchair Wheel accessible and everything. So it's not, not a hard track. It's just got a few ups and downs and, you know, nothing crazy. But Natalie just has to move very slow up and down hills because she doesn't want to induce herself. So, this this yeah. half hour trail is going to be an hour long. Over 37 weeks. <laughs> yep. We've got yeah. a bump. Uh, uh, a ball. Trouble. We've got a soccer ball there. So it is. Yeah. yeah. So, we're just slow moving today. <laughs> but having fun. We, we made it. We did the whole trail. Mm -hmm. And... We came out here to try to get Brian some coffee, but the cafe is closed, so we're gonna go see if we can find coffee elsewhere. So, um, we found a place and Brian got coffee and I got a chai latte. And I think we're gonna call it a day. I mean, if, I mean, I probably would have enjoyed getting dinner here as well, but it's okay. It's a little bit early for dinner. It is too early for dinner, and there's like, I don't know what we'd do between now and then, so we're just gonna make our way back, I guess.